GU axles. I picked them up second hand for about 1700 total. Um, also got a patrol steering box in it for the solid axle conversion. Um, but obviously they need a little bit of work done, so I'm gonna start with the brakes. So here's what it looked like after a bit of a hose. And we're just gonna start by disassembling all four of the calipers. So you start with the slide pins, uh, undo those bolts and it'll take off the slide assembly from the caliper. After that, you can take out the brake pads and then you can take out the brake shims too. The shims just pull out. Now we're gonna go on to the rear calipers, which are a single piston. You do the same thing under the slide pins and the caliper comes off of the slide assembly. Pull out the brake pads and shims. These brake pads were a little bit stuck, so I just had to tap them out. So you can see that these calipers are obviously a little bit uh, deteriorated. Some of the boots were torn, um, which obviously leads to corrosion on your pistons um, and other brake issues. So here we're going to blow out the pistons using compressed air. Uh, the issue with these dual piston calipers is that once one of the pistons is blown out, uh, you can't use compressed air to remove the other, uh, which is why I'm using quite a bit of lube on them because I want to get the, the oil to penetrate into the seals so that they're free. Uh, otherwise, they're just really difficult to get out. So here I'm just sort of rubbing it around, making sure that it's all the way in the seal and through the piston. And then we're gonna use the you know, blow one out. You just wanna make sure that you've got something to catch the piston so that it doesn't damage itself. Um, or fly across the workshop. So now I'm just trying to get the, the penetrating oil to make its way all the way around through the seal and then just wriggle that piston out. So we've got the piston out. You just wanna make sure, you can see there's a little lip around the top of that piston. Grab it by that lip. Do not grab it by the wall of the piston that goes inside the caliper. You don't wanna damage that or have any sharp edges because it'll damage your seals. Here's the bare caliper. Uh, there's no more rubber parts in it. Here we're doing the same thing to the rear calipers. Since they're a single piston, really easy. You can just use compressed air to blow it out and then you're done. You don't have to wriggle the other one out. Um, seals pull out just like that. Here I'm using a pick to pull out the rubber seal on the piston. And here's what they look like. Pretty dirty. A little bit of rust all over it. Here are all the pieces. The only parts that I reused in this rebuild uh, were the metal components. Everything rubber was replaced. Uh, I'll show the kit that I used and leave a link in the description. Um, I used two different brands. Uh, I don't want to mention one of the brands I used just because I found that their part didn't quite fit. Uh, but I will say that the Toro brake parts uh, fit quite well. Everything went in really easy. Um, so if you're looking to rebuild them, I'd go for them. Here I'm just disassembling the slides. Those slide pins have little rubber boots and they're pretty well all that holds it into the slide assembly. They just pull off just like that. And here I'm gonna clean up everything. So you can see there's a little bit of rust on that piston. Just gonna use the wire wheel to brush that off. Here's what they look like. Still a little bit of pitting, but it's much better than what it was. Now I'm cleaning out the inside of the piston, uh, just removing a little bit of rust, and after I've wire brushed it, 
I'm going to hit it with a little bit of uh, Rust Protectant or Rust Converter. And now we're onto the calipers, just giving them another brush, get them ready for um, painting. So I prepared these calipers for painting just by using a wire wheel uh, and when I couldn't reach anymore with the bench grinder I moved to a wire attachment on a drill. Uh, after that anything I couldn't reach I just uh, rubbed off with a little bit of thinners just to try and clean up and then thinners the whole surface to get it ready for painting. I used VHT red caliper paint, uh, I've used it before on my other car and it turned out great. Uh, they also have a much higher heat rating or tolerance than other brands. So I went with VHT, I didn't use any primer, and it turned out great as long as you follow the heat treatment process. So after painting, they specify that it should be heated to I think 100 degrees for about an hour. Um, and I did that on my last car and they turned out great. And on this one I used a heat gun and the calipers turned out good, but I didn't use any heat treatment on the slides and within about a week the paint was flaking off so you don't need to worry about a primer it's more so the after painting process that's important if you want the paint to stick so make sure that you follow that otherwise it comes off you know it just flakes off when you touch it um, the other thing was when I was preparing the brakes and you know rebuilding I did get a little bit of paint chipping off just from using tools so you just want to watch your paint when you're reassembling as well so here we're going to rehome the cylinders of the brakes uh, just using a small hone uh, make sure you use a fair bit of oil if you're not going to hone the cylinders make sure that you tape up before you paint uh, I knew that I was going to be rehoning so I didn't worry about it and any paint will be ground out so just using a hand drill here with a bit of oil just to resurface them, make sure that they're all good. And it's just a light grinding. I'm not I'm not doing it for too long. It's really just to clean it up. Here I'm wiping out the oil and I'll show you the hone marks. So you can see they're pretty clean. Have that cross hatching up the side. So now we're gonna start assembly. We've got our slide, our caliper. And on the left are our rubber pieces. Here are the rubber boots for the slide pins. A little rubber that goes on the slide pin and the caliper piston boot. Here are our slide pins, a rubber seal for the piston, rubber grease for the calipers, and a little banjo bolt. So we're just gonna grease the bore of the cylinder. You really wanna be quite um, heavy on the grease because especially after uh, rehoning because it'll be quite dry so I'm going to put all, some, some grease all over the rubber seal there and then you press it into the second notch in the cylinder the furthest back notch and then just rub your finger around and make sure it's seated all the way into the notch Do the same on the other side. And now we're gonna grab our piston. You wanna put a ton of grease on this, rub it around. And then I found this method online. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description. And if you're doing the rebuild, definitely go watch this video. Um, so you slide the boot on the piston before you put the piston into the caliper and what you want to do is line up the back part of the seal all the way around the ridge and then push the piston in. With a little bit of practice, it will take a couple goes, you can get each one in in probably you know, less than five minutes once you get good at it, um, you know, as long as the parts fit, which I had an issue with one brand.
So you can see here, I'm just sort of trying to trying to seat the rubber boot, and then once it's seated, use the piston to sort of squeeze it into the uh, the notch and make sure it's properly seated. It will take a little bit of time, but it's it's really the worst part of the whole rebuild is putting this boot in. And just like that, use excess grease to put around the boot. And now we're gonna put a little bit of grease on the slide pin and put the rubber boot on or seal. Uh, so these sealed pins with the rubber on them, they go on the top side of the caliper. You can tell the top side as it's got the bleed nipple on it. Uh, so just remember, put the rubber on the same side as the bleed nipple. So these pins go into the slide assembly, a little bit of grease all over it. And I found the easiest way to get the slide boots on, put them on the slide pin first, press it into the slide assembly and if you just squeeze it on, the boot will push itself onto one side, either the slide assembly or the slide pin. And then all you have to do is use a small screwdriver or a, a pick. Uh, just be careful not to pierce the boot. And all you have to do is just flick one edge over uh, the lip. So we're putting the caliper onto the slide. You want to put those little bolts into the slide pin. Tighten them up. And now your two pieces are back together. So now I'm taking off the bleed nipple. I'm gonna clean it out with a their welding tip cleaners. I'll show you them shortly. You just wanna tidy up any, I had a little bit of, um, I think it was old brake fluid mixed with dirt. Uh, and you wanna be able to bleed them properly. So you just poke them, give them a little bit of a scrape. And then I blew through them just to clear them out. Doing the same on the caliper side. And here's what they look like. Fully reassembled, new rubbers. They have no restriction sliding at all. Um, just be pretty heavy on the grease. I don't know if you can have too much grease. I'll show where the paint was flaking off of on the slides. So on that bottom edge there, you'll see all I have to do is poke it and that paint will flake straight off. And I'm Pretty certain that's from the heat treatment process being skipped. So just make sure you follow the instructions. So here's what the calipers look like before we did the rebuild. There's the rear caliper and here's the front calipers. Uh, just a lot of rust build up. And then you can see what they look like after. Uh, so red caliper paint and clear. New boots all around. Uh, and just a little bit of TLC to fix them up a bit. And here's the paint that I used. Uh, it's VHT red caliper paint and then caliper clear from VHT2. And here's the seal kit from Tora. So if I could, I'd go back and I'd use Tora on the rear, uh, just as the brand that I used on the rear wasn't, uh, didn't fit real good. Uh, so that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments. Uh, make sure to go out and follow Rube's modifications on Instagram. Uh, to keep up with any video updates and to have a, a chance at the giveaway. Thanks for watching.